This algorithm calculates the angle of inclination of the terrain from an input raster layer. The slope is expressed in degrees. To apply the slope, you'll need a DEM, so we import a DEM layer into the software. For this purpose, use the data source management tool. Go to the raster section. Select your layer from the requested path and click add to enter the software. Go to the raster section. Select the slope command from the analysis section. Enter your layer. That's it, here is the final output. Now, we're going to customize its appearance, so we go to the Layer Properties section. And select Render Type from the Symbology section. We set it on Platted. And choose a color combination. Here you can see the slope command output. Aspect command generates an aspect map from any supported elevation raster. Aspect is the compass direction that a slope faces. The pixels will have a value from 0 to 360 degrees measured in degrees from north indicating the azimuth. To perform this command, go to the raster section. Select the aspect command from the analysis section. Select the desired layer. You can set an output path. Done, here you can see the aspect output. Hillshade outputs a raster with a nice shaded relief effect. It's very useful for visualizing the terrain. You can optionally specify the azimuth and altitude of the light source, a vertical exaggeration factor and a scaling factor to account for differences between vertical and horizontal units. To apply this command, like slope and aspect, select the hillshade option from the raster and analysis section. Enter the desired layer as input. Note that the input must be a DEM. You can define a storage path to the output. You can change some parameters. In the first step, we do it by default. Here is the hillshade output. Brighter areas are areas where the sun shines directly on these areas. Select the hillshade again. Change the azimuth of the sun this time. By changing the azimuth the angle of the sun will be different. A contour line is a line drawn on a topographic map to indicate ground elevation or depression. 
A contour interval is the vertical distance or difference in elevation between contour lines. Here, to extract contour lines, you need to go to the raster section. Select the contour option from the extraction section. The input should be the DEM layer. You can also specify the distance between two contour lines. Here we set it on 10 meters to start, so that a contour line is created for us every 10 meters. Because we have a large area and there are many 10 meter lines in this area, it will take some time. A better color can be chosen. Areas with a high density of contour lines have more extreme elevation changes. On the contrary, the areas with lower density do not have many changes in altitude. Once again, we set the distance between the two lines on 80 meters. Here the changes in the contour lines are clear. 